Hello and welcome back. This is Ashkol Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a clickable HTML email signature without writing a single line of code. This video is going to be completed in three steps. On the first step, we are going to create a free HTML email signature. After that, we are going to set up that email signature into our Gmail account. And after that, we are going to get the source HTML code for the email signature which we can give the code to our clients we can customize to create multiple email signatures by using that same source code so without further ado let me take you to my computer screen and after that i'm going to demonstrate everything step by step so here i am on my computer screen and now i have to visit a website named dimm.io and hit enter it is going to take us to this website which is Jimio and after visiting the website simply we have to click on this email signature generator button and it is going to show us this page like your signatures zero of one that means for free we are going to be able to create one email signature but don't worry we are going to get the source HTML codes which we can use to generate multiple or more than like hundreds of email signatures by using the same source code so I'm actually going to show you how so let's move on we are going to click on this new signature button which is going to show us a lots of email signature samples from these samples we can choose any one of the email signatures for us so let's say if i just show you just take a look we have got this one profile picture name title and then here is the business logo which is really really uh, demanding and then we have got this one really really beautiful email signature profile picture then the business logo which is multi-purpose a uh, good uh, email signature example right so you are going to find around let's say 50 to 60 email signatures on their platform you have to choose the best one for your use so now for this tutorial purpose i'm going to take one that is easy to edit like this one i'd love to go with this one it looks professional so let me just simply click on it and it is going to be selected and just take a look whenever i am hovering over here it is showing us this apply button so if let's say you want to change this template simply you can click here and the template will be changed just take a look now i'd love to go back here on this template and after that to start customizing the template simply i have to click on this apply button right here so that i'll be able to provide my information instead of the demo contents which is available now it's time to change the image of our email signature right so in this case simply i'm going to click on this image and it is going to populate some options in the left hand side of our um, browser now simply we have to click on this remove button so that the image will be removed it's time to choose an image for us or we have to upload our image so in this case we are going to click on this chosen image it is going to show us two options one is from local files you can upload a file from your computer directly or you can use any direct link to upload any image so i'd love to go with local files and after that i'm going to click on choose a local file and it is going to take us to our let's say computer and then i'm going to choose an image from my computer let's say this one as you can see it is circled so i'm going to upload this image let's click on open and here we go we have got the image it's time to click on this done button so now you are going to see that the image has been a uh, bigger placement so in this case we have to reduce the scale of the image simple we have to drag this ballpoint a little bit and just take a look it is looking nice here in our email signature right now it's time to change the name job title phone number and other details and to change any of these elements simply we have to click on this element and it is going to populate the editing panel of that specific element so in this case i have clicked on the name and just take a look we are seeing the name appearing here where we can simply delete the previous name and i'm going to type out my name here all right and now it's time to click here and it is going to be updated now it's time to change this part so simply we have to click on this part and then it is going to populate the editing panel for this specific element now i'm going to type out let's say content creator after that i'm going to click here and just take a look it's been updated now it's time to change the phone number so i'm going to upload or add a demo phone number here so in this case simply i have to click here after that i have to type out the phone number right here so let's say i am from bangladesh so i'm going to type out 88 zero 
so this is a demo phone number so please don't call you are not going to find me right so let's click on done so let's say you don't need this number here appearing so in this case simply you have to remove this data from here and then click on done it is going to be removed right so in this case i would love to provide another phone number so i'm going to type out a uh, another random phone number which is going to be let's say uh, plus 8801 another uh, demo phone number here so i'm going to click on done and it is going to be updated here now let's say i want to upload the website email same process so in this case i am strictly um, okay let me just change this so I'm going to click here and after that I'm going to type out my website address if I if you have a website you can simply provide yours other than that you can simply uh, remove this part from here simple delete everything click on done and it is going to be removed so no worries so as I have got a website so I'm going to provide my website address here www dot and hit done after that I'm going to change the email address so in this case I'm going to provide my all right now let's click on done after that i'm going to change the address as well so to do this simply click here and then we are going to provide our address information let's say all right now i'm going to click on done and after that it's time to make our email signature clickable so we are going to provide links inside these icons so let me click on this facebook it is going to populate the facebook icon here after that i'm going to take my facebook url so i'm going to type out ajharul rafi facebook and here we go this one is the page so i'm going to paste it right here so that the link will be clickable whenever someone will click on the facebook icon they will be visiting my facebook page right so in this case click on done so let me change this instead of okay done after that i want to change instead of uh, twitter i'd love to give let's say instagram where i am mostly active so in this case i'm going to change it from here i have just clicked here and it, is, it just populated the options here after that i'm going to select social icon list from here let's say instagram instagram it is going to be here and after that i'm going to change the url so i'm going to type out um here we go instagram so i'm going to copy huh. all right so this is the correct url so i'm going to provide it here and after that click on done it is going to be updated now i don't okay so let me take this twitter profile uh, linkedin profile as well simple We are going to find the LinkedIn profile here. I'm going to copy. Let's paste it here. After that, let's click on done. And then instead of Google Plus, as you may know, Google Plus is no longer in business. So in this case, we are going to remove this icon and we are going to upload, uh, change it with our YouTube channel. So let's click here. And then we are going to click here. After that, we are going to find YouTube, which is this one. And now I'm going to provide the YouTube channel URL. So I'm going to type out YouTube. And here we go, we have got the Ajahol Rafi here. Now I'm going to update this here, then click on done. And we are done with the email signature. Now let's say this is a branding thing. So we are going to remove this and we're going to do this from our Gmail setup. So now what we have to do, we have to simply install our signature. We are done with creating this um, email signature already, which is clickable. Now it's time to click on this install your signature button right here. So we are on the second step, which is installing the email signature into our Gmail account. So simple, we have to click here to get our signature so simply click here and just take a look your signature has been copied to your clipboard simply go back here after that search for gmail and then you have to click on this one this gear icon so that it will take us to our uh, gmail settings and after that click on this see all settings button and it is going to take us to settings page and on the general tab after that we have to go a little bit down until we find the signature tab so here is the signature tab so as i already have one signature so i'm going to remove this and click on delete all right so you are going to see if you haven't yet created any signature you're going to see this interface so now let's click on this create new button after that i'm going to give it a name let's say pro a clickable or professional email signature all right now let's click on create and after that we have to paste it like 
we have copied this code from here simply click here to copy your signature has been copied to your clipboard now let's go back to the settings page go to the signature section and then paste this and you are going to see that we have got our beautiful um, clickable email signature created right so now i mentioned like we are going to remove this part from our signature which is really easy let's go back here and after that we are going to remove this uh, part from here simply select this one and click on delete button of your keyboard simply we are done with the email signature setup here now make sure you are setting up the signature default so to do this simply click here for new emails use you have to click here then select professional email signature after that if you want to send your email signature on every replies or forwarded emails then you can select this one as well so i usually keep this so whenever i create a new email i uh, the email signatures appears also whenever i reply to some emails the email signature appears as well so let's just go a little bit down now after that you are going to find this save change option so let's click on it and it is going to be saved so now if i click on this compose button then you are going to see that the email signature is appearing and now i'd love to send a test email to show you how it is working so in this case i'm going to type out my mdrafi9 at gmail.com and after that email signature test email just as an example and after that i can provide some information from lorem is pump here so i'm going to copy this text from here copy and let's remove all the formattings let's paste the information here and after that i'm going to click on send within like few seconds the email should be appearing on my other email address so let me take you here on my other email so on other browser actually so i'm going to type out gmail.com and let's see if the email is appeared not yet so in this case i have to wait reload yeah here we go email signature test email so i'm going to open the email up and just take a look we are seeing the email signature is appearing now if someone clicks on website they will be visiting my website if someone clicks on facebook they will be visiting my facebook page if someone clicks on linkedin they will be visiting my linkedin profile if someone clicks on youtube they should be visiting my youtube profile as well or youtube channel as well so this was the process how to set up the email signature so now we are done with the second step we have set up our email signature into our gmail account now it's time to get the html source code in case we need to send the code to our client how can we get this simply we are going back here and after that you are going to find this option click here if you need the html source code which is advanced simply click here and it is going to populate all the html source code which is looking messy but no worries we are going to format this and after that i am going to show you how we can customize Customize the code to make multiple email signatures by using the same HTML code and this is the purpose why most of the client gets the code from us right so in this case we have to select and copy all of these contents from here so to do this I'm going to use Control a from my keyboard which is going to select all the contents of this page after that I'm going to type out Control C and it is going to copy all the contents from here now let's cross this out after that we are going to a new tab of our browser after that we have to find out a, a html code formatter so i'm going to type out html code f o r m a t e r and hit enter you are going to find multiple resources which you can use to format the html code which you have got so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the first one for the tutorial purpose and it is going to load up the website just take a look and then after visiting the site simply we have to paste the information which, are, which we have just copied from our html email signature source so now let's go back here after pasting the information simply click on this format html and it is going to give us these formatted html codes right so now what we have to do we have to copy all the codes here uh, from here and we can use this button as you can see copy to clipboard simply click on it and it is going to be copied simply click on it it is going to be copied now what you have to do we have to go back here on our computer and then we can use let's say we can create a new text document so i'm going to open up text document i'm going to give it a name let's say uh, email signature by achro rafi and instead yeah let's keep it in text and after that we are going to open this up paste the code that we have just copied from the code formatter here all right paste it now we have to save this and now 
we are going to create another version of this code which is going to be the HTML um, extension based code. So let's say we have to click on this file then we are going to file and then we are going to click on this save as we are going to give it a name let's say instead of .txt we have to make sure we are providing .html and hit save and now if I cross this out you are going to find out that we have got this file created into our desktop now if I double click here you are going to see we have got the beautiful HTML um, email signature appearing here now let me show you how we can customize this email signature from that source code simple we are going to going back here after that we are going to open this file this HTML5 into any text editor so I'm going to open it up with let's say open with I'm going to use sublime text for this tutorial purpose and after that you are going to find all the codes appearing here now let's say I want to make the change on my name instead of Ajarul Rafi I want something else so simply go back here I'm going to make it smaller for easy uh, interface all right here we go so now I am so what I have to do I have to simply type out control F on our browser uh, on our keyboard and after that it is going to populate this information after that I'm going to copy the name from here paste the name into this search field and it is going to find Ajhar Rafi here again here we go just take a look Ajhar Rafi so instead of Ajhar Rafi I'm going to make the change let's say your name just for the tutorial click on always after making a change make sure you are hitting ctrl s so that the file will be saved now if i take you back here if i reload this page just take a look it is showing us your name content creator right so in this case i'm going to change this one as well so let's copy this copy and let's go back to the code after that we are going to paste the code right here and it's going to find out the match just take a look it already been selected so now select this code and after that we are going to type out let's say your title right let's click on save let's go back to the file after that let's reload the file here just take a look it's been updated now let's say I want to change the uh, email address so let's go back to the code after that let me just copy the code uh, copy the email address so that it will be easier to find the code directly here so control F after that we are going to paste the information here just take a look at how Rafi so in this case I'm going to provide another email address all right now I'm going to click on save let's go back and reload this page just take a look how you have to customize the HTML code and this is how your client is going to customize the code if they need all right so now let's say we don't need this part how we can remove this part simple we are going to copy this part from here let's copy and let's go back to the code after that we are going to type out control F and then it is going to populate this part I'm going to remove this and paste this information just take a look it just found the match here so in this case if you just notice we have got this one TR TR so this whole TR is containing this text right and we have got these are the styling information so in this case we are going to remove this table row from here Con hit control S and now if I reload this page you are going to find that we have got got rid of that uh, let's say uh, branding information now how we can use this email signature into our email simply we have to copy like this we have to select all of these contents from here let's copy this and then let's go back to the to the email after that click on this settings option after that go to see all settings the same process as we did earlier go a little bit down after that I'm going to click on create new and I'm going to give a uh, from browser this is the name so let's click on this after that paste the information just take a look everything is appearing here now if I click on if I select this from here I'll be able to select and then after selecting everything I have to click on this save change button so this is the process of how you can create a beautiful clickable HTML email signature how we can get the HTML source code and how to set up the email into a Gmail uh, email client so I believe you have found this video helpful if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos like this one and one more thing if you and to deliver this project to your client simply if the client is asking you for the source code simply you have to select or you have to upload this HTML file into your delivery section and that's it your client will be able to access everything so 
थैंक यू सो मच अगेन फॉर वॉचिंग हैव ए गुड डे बाय बाय